What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital. We're here with Vladimir Podlitsky, CEO of Petrotech Energy. And also we have Jerry Bailey, former CEO and chairman of the company and is currently advisor to the board. How are you guys doing today? Very fine. Thank you. Good, Aaron. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to have you guys on the channel. So can you start by giving us a brief introduction to the company and telling us a bit more about what you guys do and your interesting technology? Vladimir, you want to do the introduction or I'll take it? No, I will let you. I want to start briefly. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, uh, so basically what we did, we started our endeavors about 10 years ago, and our goal and our technology deal with uh, unconventional reserves, and we develop technologies that allow environmentally friendly uh, to basically produce oil from the oil sand uh, on the commercial scale. And briefly, this is what we have right now and we are in the stage when we uh, promote our technology and we're going to apply technology in different application like oil production remediation and so forth and we have successful proof of the concept we built a couple plants in the united states in the state of utah and we continue to uh, go to the larger production scale and development of applications, like I mentioned, remediation, uh, and it potentially can have a great application in Canada from both sides, production and remediation. We are cost efficient, environmentally safe, and we have, we believe, a great future here. Awesome, Jerry. Is there anything you want to add to that? Yes, uh, I'd like your audience certainly to understand uh, I'm a former president of Exxon. I was president of the Arabian Gulf region. So I have a whole career uh, in oil and gas from engineer. I'm a chemical engineer by trade, but uh, ended up in uh, executive uh, role there. Uh, I was approached by uh, Petrotech uh, way back when they first started. I realized that they had a unique technology that no one else in the world has come up with yet. And that is to be able to handle the extraction of oil out of the oil sands without any water involved. It's a dry process. It's very environmentally friendly. There's no emissions. Nothing goes in the air. Nothing goes back on the ground but the very clean sand, which you, could, you can grow plants in after that. So when I saw what they had, uh, I was pleased and honored that they would ask me to come in and, and take over the company as we started because I, I knew this uniqueness had so many possibilities. And as Vladimir, Vladimir just said, it not only can take the sands and clean them up, but it also has basically a remediation uh, ability. If you had an oil spill alongside the beaches somewhere, uh, a unit of this type that we have could clean that up and, and certainly clear up all, all the oil there. So. We, it is a green technology, and yet it, it enables us to address and to access a lot of oil that would not have been possible. Utah in itself has over half of all the oil uh, in the United States in the oil sands. So that's kind of where we stand. We, we are looking globally. There are a lot of companies around the world, uh, countries. Uh, like Indonesia and uh, Trinidad and Dominican Republic, uh, uh, Namibia, even China, a lot of places that have similar sands that we could address and uh, turn those into uh, to money. Wow, that's really interesting technology. So, you know, Petrotech recently announced an economic evaluation of a sands byproduct from oil extraction. Can you tell us a little bit more about this exciting news? Yeah, the, the interesting thing about it is the sands that contain such oils, um, once they are cleaned up, they're of a very high quality that can be used uh, in, the, in the fracking industry, which is in dire need of, of more sands. Uh, these sands can also be used in things like uh, cosmetic uh, uh, production uh, manufacture. So the value of just the clean sands is, uh, is, is tremendous. You're, you're talking you know, hundreds of millions of dollars that, that, that is available there. So that's, that was the reason for that press release and people can read that in detail uh, you know, online somewhere. 
definitely. So just to talk about your technology a little bit more. So the company uses a proprietary, environmentally friendly, heavy oil processing and extraction technology. The proprietary process produces zero greenhouse gas, zero waste, and requires no high temperatures. How important is technology that is environmentally friendly in this day and age? And what kind of market opportunity, you know, do we have here at hand? Well, the, the as you say, uh, what we're using is, I call it our secret sauce. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it has the capability um, of a doing this cleanup. And this is not something from the Amazon rainforest or anything. These are commonly, it's a, it's a, a mixture of some commonly acquired uh, uh, chemicals that are environmentally safe and friendly uh, that can be gotten easily and put together in, in the, in the uh, mixture that we have discovered. And so that has no problem. And the way that we would also monetize this is that we've already issued at least one license and possibly a second on the way to other companies that might want to use this technology in their own uh, uh, leases, in their own uh, holdings of the sand. So we intend to go globally that way. We can license it out. We can also joint venture with people. We can go with them and help them show them how to build the plant. Our first plant was 500 barrels a day, which, which was our first uh, ability to prove uh, that, it's, that it's workable, that it's a reliable and, and, and does what we say. And now we're in the process of raising funds to build a one 10 times as large in Utah, 5,000 barrels a day. But the future for us is not to build thousands of plants, it's to license and joint venture with others that have the resources on their doorstep. Definitely. So, you know, what are some of the major catalysts that investors should be looking out for, let's say in the near term? Well, the interesting thing about it is that there are many people who are not, let's say, friendly to uh, fossil fuel, mm -hmm. but, uh, but on the other hand, they're very friendly to, uh, to green technology. Mm -hmm. We combine and cover both of those instances. We can use a technology to address the uh, additional uh, access to fossil fuels in the form of oil sands without causing any environmental issues. So people who have a, a tendency to lean one way or the other, I think they will find how to put it like Vladimir said, we are kind of a green oil company, so to speak. When we first opened up, we had a number of environmentalists coming to review our process in Utah. And they went away very satisfied that uh, they were surprised that we had no uh, no, no ambition. We were an oil company, but we were not doing, we were making the land better. Actually. Uh, Jerry just said, no, conceptually, I want you to understand, not many people familiar with the oil sand. You can consider oil sand formally like a mixture of the oil and sand and some clay. And so what's happening, the reserves worldwide, they almost equal to the liquid oil reserves. I'll give you an example. For example, Utah have almost 30 to 35 billion barrels in the ground of, in the form of the oil sand. If you go into the United States of America, it's over 150, I believe, latest surveys were 150 to 170 billion barrels of oil. So what's happening when we take in, and that's why it's uh, not conventional oil, because conventional oil are in a form of a liquid or thick liquid in the ground. So imagine right now you have a mixture of the sand and oil and clay. What our technology does, uh, we're basically taking that oil sand and we cleaning up oil from the sand. And suddenly we have two byproducts of our process. The two byproducts are clean sand and the second byproduct is an oil. So oil, can be used in this energy market. And right now worldwide is a shortage of a heavy crude oil because it's uh, basically a little bit over supply of the light oils and the heavy oils, the main suppliers were Venezuela, Russia, Iraq. You probably see by name of these countries, not reliable supply, which we're trying to basically restructure. The only serious big supplier of the heavy oil is the Canada, but Canadian heavy oils are not sweet. When we're talking about sweet or sour, uh, it's the content of the sulfur. So 
in United States, in the area when we working, it is a sweet, heavy crude. In other words, a low level of sulfur, which is dangerous, detrimental for refineries. So our oil is of a very good, high quality, and basically it is byproduct. Because see what we're doing, we're taking out of the earth a sand and clay mixed with oil. We're returning back to the earth a clean uh, sand. And sometimes, like Jerry mentioned, it can be used economically for the fracking, but it also can be used for remediation and return back. I believe is the only company who deal with the oil sands and doing stuff who was checked by EPA with very strict testing of everything, our tailings, our sand tailings, our plant, and they find zero environmental violation. Everything, including air, land, and water, underground water, were absolutely clean to the standard. So that show that our technology is basically plus, 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 and it can combine everything, economy, environment, and other concerns for the different countries right now. So it, it's the right time to apply that technology worldwide. Awesome. So, you know, what would you say is the one thing that you're most excited about for Petrotech this year or in the near term? Well, the one thing about it is the, the potential for what this project and this technology can achieve. And with a highlight of it can be done for under $30 a barrel. So in today's environment, mm -hmm. making oil at under $30 a barrel, when oil is over $100 a barrel, you can do the math. So uh, wise investors can also do that multiplication and find out what that's worth. So I think our future is really good. I think we have a lot of people of interest. I see after several years of the problems with the, uh, the COVID virus, uh, all of this moving behind us, I think uh, the economies are going to open up again. And as Vladimir said, we have a, an oil that's needed out of the sands is of a little heavier quality than normal. And the refiners need that type of oil to mix with the lighter crudes like comes out of the Permian Basin in Texas uh, to make a blend that's more uh, amenable to a full range of refined products. So for the future, I think the company it really looks good. Um, I must step aside for, for now. I, I'm, I'm really on a tight schedule, but Vladimir can continue yeah, at this point. Jerry, thank you very much. Um, yes, thank you, Jerry. Right, you're welcome. Mm. Thank you. And Eric, I just want to say basically the same thing with Jerry said from a little bit different angle, besides being the CEO, I also inventor of the technology. And so what makes me <clears throat> really excited, you know, technology sometimes have a difficult path mm -hmm. to be developed, to be proven, to be applied and to be economical. I see we in the stage of development when we really become a green economical technology to bring energy market, a very good, valuable product, which otherwise would be in the shortage and give us all these benefits of economic benefits, environmental benefits, and development uh, remediation process in Canada specifically. When I know it is a huge issue with oil sand production from the past, but like Jerry mentioned in the beginning, it's very important for you to emphasize that your uh, readers or listeners understand uh, Canada has water-based process, which lead to environmental disasters. We have completely, we call it waterless process. There is no water use in the process, extraction process at all. That's why we are different. That's why we are so environmentally safe. Yeah, that's really interesting, Vladimir. So finally, you know, where's the best place for investors to find out more information about the company? So the company basically can go to our website. They can contact our representatives. I think they can me emails directly. I have a couple of staff uh, members who are answering and staying in communication with investors. Perfect. Well, you know, it's such an interesting technology. Thanks for sharing. I look forward to covering the company and best of luck with everything. All right. And thank you. It was nice meeting you too. I'll stay in touch. Thank you. Thanks, Vladimir. Bye. Have a great day.
If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank <laughs> you.